What's up guys, my name is Prozyke, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on docking. Now if you haven't already watched uh, the Ascent tutorial or Rendezvous tutorial, uh, you might want to watch those so you understand how we got to this point with docking. Otherwise you can just follow along with me. So once you have rendezvoused with your craft or your space station, you need to dock. So using MechJeb to dock, all you have to do is you go over to your, Mech, your MechJeb browser, click Docking Autopilot, and it'll bring up this menu. And there's a couple things that you, you must do for your Docking Autopilot to work correctly. You must set you, the dock on the space station, whichever dock that you want to dock to, as your target. So you'd right click and you'd set it you'd set it as your target. Then you also need to know where to control from on your craft that you're trying to connect with. So basically, if you don't control from a p another port, it's going to assume it's just the center of mass on this craft and what you're going to end up doing is crashing into your port. So you want to go to the port on your craft and you want to right click and click control from here. So now you've got both your you've got your two link points and the the next thing that you need to do is you need to set a speed limit. The default speed limit is 1 meter per second, which means that it will just travel straight at this port once it's lined itself up at 1 meter per second. Uh you can with a smaller craft, something that's got a smaller mass or less mass, uh, it's okay to go a little faster. Well, when you have something that's very massive, uh, a faster speed, wh when it impacts that port, can do some damage, especially if you have some weaker joints. So specifically uh, down here, where it's a little bit weaker, I don't have much support there, it could break that off. So we'll proceed with the docking here. We want to enable our autopilot. Also another, th another thing, I'll just talk about a couple of these other settings the override safe distance basically what that'll do is it will prevent uh it'll prevent mechjeb from establishing its own safe distance and the safe distance is how far out it will move from the space station before it will uh activate its thrusters to get in position so essentially if i draw a bounding box you'll see so it will not start making maneuvers until it is outside of this box. Well, say you're over here and you just want it to go up here and swing around, then you just reduce your safe distance outside of this box and you'll be able to dock a little bit faster. Now it's a little bit riskier. You might bump into your station, but if you've done it enough, if you've done docking enough, uh, it's not too difficult. Uh, so, so from here on, you can just click autopilot and the thrusters. Uh, now I have some RCS thrusters on this and those RCS thrusters are just going to help it maneuver in into place. And I like to put them on four sides and not on a sloped surface. So not on a surface like, like this, because what happens is if you don't have them the same width apart, it tends to spin your craft and it's very hard to get a direct uh, line to your port. So it's very, very difficult to, to dock if you start putting thrusters on a decreasing uh, diameter or, uh, craft. So if you actually have a, a square module, a rectangular module, it's even easier. But I, uh, So four is what I would recommend for that. So we'll make sure that we have enough monopropellant here. Okay, yep, we have enough monopropellant. Now there is stock monopropellant within the thrusters, but if you need more, say you have a bigger craft and you need to uh, move that around, I suggest adding a little bit, or uh, adding a couple of monopropellant tanks. So over here we can see exactly our <clears throat> exact coordinates. Our axi dock is good, that means we're aligned perfectly straight up and this is just our direct distance from here to here so as you can see we're getting very very close 
approaching at a desired speed of one meter per second. Now the only time I suggest having that higher than one meter per second is say you're starting to dock and you're like, you know, 50, 60 meters away. You need to have that speed a little bit faster so you catch up to your space station and doesn't drift away on you. But if you're this close, you can keep that speed limit relatively low. So once this docks, it should automatically incorporate this as part of the space station and it will be one solid vessel. And there you have it. They're docked together. Your docking autopilot automatically turns off. And we can go ahead and we can look at all of our Kerbals in here. I hope this video has helped you dock using MechJeb. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.